gold D's on the cherry tray. Pockets full of pit bulls drinking Perrier. <laughs> yeah, 13 mint is a pure joy. When I'm on the switch, I'm So these little guys right here, they're no different than a water faucet. The more you close it, you know, just right to left. All that does is control how fast the car goes down. That's it. One for each pump, okay? These guys right here, these are responsible for dumping the fluid out of the cylinder. That's all they're for. Okay? None of this has to do with power. Everything that has to do with power is batteries, okay? The number one thing that goes wrong with hydraulics is uh, you, you can lock up a line of solenoids. Yeah, okay? I didn't hear So that. it's like, I might have explained to you, when you hit that switch, that switch turns these switches closed to let power go to the motor. And they're all 12 volt, 12 volt, 12 volt. That's why they can stick. You like starting your vehicle with, with more batteries when it's all designed for one. Do you know what I mean? So you made a good choice in getting it from the up front. Because if you ever hear anything or smell anything, I'm not sure you yeah. use. You're just going to disconnect real quick. Mm -hmm. Real important, if your pumps ever sound weird, put the car all the way down, check the oil. Oil level about three quarters of the way, a little higher, a little lower, it's not going to hurt it. Regular motor oil. It doesn't matter what weight, it doesn't matter what brand, it doesn't matter if you mix them. When anybody tells you different, uh, I've had 15 personal cars in my life, I've never seen a difference. These are hand tight. Some people want to tighten these all the way because as you're driving around and this and that, the oil moves around there like a washing machine, yeah. and you might get seepage here. It's better to get seepage here every now and then than to tighten this all the way. And you have the, your level here and the rest is air, air gets hot, air, air expands, pushes down on the seal that keeps oil from going into your motor. I'd rather have seepage than burn up the motor. Yeah. Common sense, right? Yeah. yeah. So they're hand tight. The reason why is so the air can breathe in and out instead of putting that pressure. See what I mean? Um, if you stick one solenoid, change the entire line. Not gonna get, they're all compromised. Oh. We used to just try to find the one, and then it just happen again. So change up the whole one. This right here, long post here. So you got this cable is your first battery, 12 volt, 24 volt, 24 volt. That's for the power for your switches. Mm -hmm. If you ever get a pressure lock, you just take that off. You run a wire. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make you one. You're gonna want a wire from here over to 36 volts and that'll give more power to the dump. A pressure lock is, if you overlock this setup and you got too much pressure in line, the dumps won't open. They don't have enough power. You see what I mean? Yeah. So then we jump it to 36 volts, which will give you enough power, and usually that'll dump it. If that don't dump it, like say, say this line's stuck right here and you don't want to dump, mm -hmm. and you tried 36 volts and it don't want to dump, you're gonna open it up at the fitting right here. They're all the same, so I'll show you one right here. So here's the fitting. Here's the end of the hose, and there's that coupling fitting. It's always the center one that you on this one. You don't take it off, you rag it, wrench it, let it fall a little bit, let the car fall a little bit, snug it back up. You just snug them, you don't have to force them or not. And then that relieves the line pressure also. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. so. Your quick release. So as soon as they disconnect that, it, the car has no power for no hydraulics at all, right? So see how it's designed? Yeah. It's right here on your right hand? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That's even better. So another thing on these quick releases, they're already kind of tight on their own. Yeah. So see how they're circle to circle? Mm -hmm. Even circle to circle. You don't need to turn it. You turn it, it locks. That means now you're trying to get it right to, um, you know, it's, it's they're, they're tight enough like that. Every, every in the nighttime, Put the car on the ground, you always disconnect your quick release. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have the car sitting for like a few days, yeah. disconnect the 24 volt, the clamp. The clamp? Uh-huh. And the clamp, you just put it right onto the jacket of the cable. So it'll be the red one, right? The yeah. red little clamp? Mm-hmm. Okay. And so, it's front, back, left side, right side, left back, right back, okay? Now, the car doesn't have the power balls like we talked about, it's coil under like my car. Yeah. But if you get used to this hydraulics and you go into a parking lot, you'll be able to three go in circles. Okay. Oh, okay. That so makes sense. I put tens back there instead of eights. So every all these switches, they have a notch. They're all facing this way. No matter which one I pull this way, it's going to dump it. 
Okay. Towards the nuts. There's your front. Okay. There's your left side. There's your right side. Curl the way down. You see how I'm going? Dun, dun. I'm not just holding it. Yes. You don't ever just want to hold it. Always your, tap it. Your left back. You just want to go down. Your right back. So this is the highest it would be, right? Yeah. Okay, that works. Well, yeah. I mean, there, there's so many different things you can do. But you see how the, you hear that the arms hit the frame? Yeah. It's it's literally about that that much more to where it's locked out. But you you really gotta you really gotta fill the switch. If you over you over hit that you're gonna break a pump in. And that means the pump has to come out and disassemble to put a home in pump in. So, real important, when you go from one battery, you don't have to take no cables off, none of that. Just like a car battery, one battery to the next, make sure your charger is off before you switch from one battery to another. I've only had one battery ever in my life blow up in my face and I was 18 mm. when that happened. I was charging and I had to shut it off and the gas is up. Two red bones on E. We caravanning to the beach. Niggas dip in these streets. I'm good on the switch, never missing a beat. Both switches all I need, and I love this shit. Drop the ass on the bitch and scrape the bumper kit. Well, just pull up to my bumper, baby. Who want some of this hot ass tray? I would gas hot, but no need to stump her. Huh. Three licks, I'm on the bumper. Just throw your motherfucking hands in the air. Represent your hood like you just don't care. Set up shop, never close and get ripped.